Hello guys, <clears throat> welcome back to another video. I know it has been very well past due for another video to be in the record, but um, I've been going through quite a few changes with mental health dilemmas, state shit, you name it, I went through it this year. It was a very rough year for me and my family. And, but I'm going to get straight to the point. So, there is two things that you need to download, or three to have on your system completely if the hard drive ever fails. But the first one that you're going to need is something called Bolina Etcher, which is a script made out of JavaScript and a few other fancy coding languages. But it is a, like, three click process that will get you from having the ISOs, plugging your USB drive in, and then you wait about five minutes and you got yourself a bootable USB drive or an installer. So the first step is, is go ahead and open up Google Chrome. Oh, not Google Chrome, my bad, that was... Uh, you open up Google Chrome, and the first thing we're going to install is Boolean Atcher. So if you just do a simple Google search of Bolina Etcher, the first one, um, www.bolina Etcher, no, bolina.io, you click on that, it will, I'll go ahead and do a little sample for you guys, I gotta get that at least five minute benchmark for my videos. But uh, once it loads, I'm running off hotspot right now because I live out in the middle of fucking nowhere, but, um, once this loads, I will show you guys what you need to click on to download it. So, this is the main page. As you see down in the bottom, it says Detecting OS. It will detect your OS, and if you click that download button, it will simply download it. And then uh, you wait for that to download. It's like a 90 to 120 megabyte file. Um, and then, to inform you guys for when downloading Kali Linux, if you look up Kali Linux download, you should see, yeah, I did spell download wrong, I was typing fast, but it's Kali.org, not any of these, like, little fake Kali downloads from, like, TechSpot, or, like, just these other ones that are, like, do I want to download these? But uh, Kali.org is where you want to get the download. And if you want the installer and the live boot version, go ahead and click on this link and navigate yourself over to the Kali.org website. Where you'll get a few options, like this little fancy light and dark mode. Sorry, I didn't need that loud ass click of the microphone on this thing is ass. So you got installer images, which is like your ISOs like for the installer for your computer and if you make your way here it will take you down to these and you'll have 64, 32 and then App Silicon ARM64 so you got the weekly with untested latest updates some people like this one just to test out what's new and give review you got the net installer, which means that you would link, you would paste the link from here into the line of Etcher. And then for uh, everything, it has every tool possible, but you have to torrent it or use the sum, which I can make a video on both of those, to be honest. And then you simply just, you know, download it. It'll download it for you. And then, if you're wanting the live boot version, you gotta go a little further down. You should see live boot. And you just click on it, it will take you to the bottom of the page. Same process, it will be like, do you want everything which still torn some point release live image, which is just the simple little live image for the 64 bit? Download torrent some, it's about 3.8 gigabytes. Same with the um, installer, it's about 3.8 gigabytes. And then the weekly image, which it's around 3.9 when fully downloaded. 
but it has like you know the latest updates different tools and shit like that um, and then you know you just download it and then once you guys have that downloaded you'll have the Bolina at your setup which the setup you know is what it is you gotta go through setup wizard get everything installed and then it should pre-launch by itself and then it should look like this when it's when it's done if it will open I don't wanna have to double click with my keypad because you know that shit's like him um, and then this will pop up you'll have Belina Etcher you'll see the little tag and then as you see here you got flash from file flash from URL or clone your drive so the flash from URL is like the you know uh, the URL download that I was showing you guys earlier and then you click on this and then it, it should be on your desktop if you download it just transfer it to your desktop or it will be in your downloads <clears throat> and you either click on the installer or the live version whichever you prefer um, if you have two different flash drives there it's it Galena Etcher is completely free so you click on I'm gonna do the installer for instance you plug in your selected drive like I have nothing plugged in right now but if you were to plug in the USB drive it recognize it and then you would simply hit flash and wait for a few seconds and you got about five minutes till it's completely installed and then you're all good at the end of the day everything's installed and I'll be making another video on different BIOS menus, what you need to do to get into the USB drive, how to install Kali Linux on the system. It's just a bunch of like unnecessary stuff for these processes. It's very non-beginner friendly, if I'm being honest with you, because it's so many steps. And that's what discourages kids from doing pen testing cybersecurity, data analytics, all of that, people don't want to do it because they don't know how to get into it. They don't know what to look up to find it. And that's what my goal is with this YouTube channel. I want to make it as simple as possible with in-depth descriptions on how to do it. That I put a lot of work into these videos. I'm nowhere near a professional, but I do try to put effort in these videos so I can produce good content but sometimes my videos get removed like uh, 2020 I had a video on how to penetration test against Google accounts with the Hydra client and well the graphical interface menu GUI and I had like 60,000 views and then Google, not Google, but YouTube removed it because of terms of service, even though it was against my account. Like, it was, it was in my account. I put in the description not to do this for malicious purposes, but no matter what I did, I tried to renew it, but YouTube was like, sorry, man, we can't do that. And I was like, alrighty, well... I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's been a minute. I know some of y'all subscribed to me in, in efforts to see if I would upload more recent. <clears throat> but I am very sorry that I have not had good update, like updates about what's going on and stuff. But other than that, thank you guys for coming. That was a simple little thing. And peace.